you can't forget about these Phoenix Suns players who I'm breaking down the impact of in this video. 29 other teams missed out on the elite rebounding plus pick and roll defense of Bismack Biombo, as the former lottery pick way back in 2011 has fit in perfectly down in the valley. Another center in Jalen Smith's development and versatility allows the Suns to play fast on both ends of the floor, while Cam Johnson displayed his value by scoring 12 of his 24 points in the fourth quarter versus Minnesota. The sniping 2021 free agent pickup in Landry Shamit came through with a blistering 17 points off the pine. The top backcourt of the point guard and D-Book combined for 23 assists while tallying 51 points themselves. Let's check in on the Suns' most overlooked yet prolific options that are helping them to the top of the NBA in mesmerizing fashion. Right quick, only 12.3% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Links in the description for both those platforms. It's fairly blasphemous that the team with the best record in the association by about five games doesn't have one all-star starter representing them in Cleveland. CP3 is tied for number one in both steals and assists. He's also number five in the association in fourth quarter scoring, only behind LeBron, Tatum, Giannis, and DeRozan. Paul's leadership on and off the court keeps the Suns' engine in prime condition. Man's a savant in the pick and roll. He dices up game plans with shifty mid-rangers off the bounce for days, and his passing changes the personality of games. With Cameron Payne out due to a wrist injury for the next two weeks, the 36-year-old Paul has stepped up his aggressiveness. In three games since Cam went down, CP3 is posting 23 points, 11 assists, and 7 rebounds on 53% shooting from the field while also making a ridiculous 64% of his three-pointers. The next man up mentality with this Suns team is set in stone by CP3, and as you can see with those numbers, after a key shot creator went down, the soon-to-be 12-time All-Star leads by example. Meanwhile, 25-year-old Devin Booker just broke Amare Stoudemire's Phoenix franchise record for total 40-point games. Always a contender for the Hall of Fame class, the legendary Suns big man posted 15 games of scoring 40-plus, while the youngster D. Book did that for the 16th time against the Utah Jazz. Putting up efficient 25, 5, and 4 averages, looking like a bona fide superstar for the top team in the NBA, with all due respect to my fellow Torontonian Andrew Wiggins, Devin Booker more than deserved to start his first career All-Star game in Cleveland. Having said that, I'm thrilled for Wiggins, and I have no complaints about him being there. Man deserved it himself. I just think it's a bit disappointing that we don't have one player representing the best team in basketball in the starting lineup of the All-Star game. Regardless of whether or not they were named starters, it's still widely acknowledged that Chris Paul and Devin Booker are the best backcourt in the association. For Warrior fans, that may not be the case once Klay Thompson regains full form after his injury, but given Phoenix's guard combo has combined to fuel the top-seeded and reigning Western Conference champions' chances over the past few seasons, CP3 and D-Book have earned that label. Completing the big three, there's a top-five center in DeAndre Ayton, but here's the dangerous element of the Suns that many tend to overlook. Not only is there a prominent second layer to the bunch with elite wing players and Mikhail Bridges, Jay Crowder, as well as Cameron Johnson, we'll go in depth on Cam in a minute, but everyone dismisses the prominent third layer to the Phoenix Suns. Let's meet the squad's current starting center without DeAndre Ayton, Jalen Smith. Typical backup five-man JaVale McGee has also been out, forcing coach Monty to put his trust into not only the 21-year-old in Jalen, but the recently signed veteran Bismack Biombo. The second-year man out of the University of Maryland was the 10th overall pick back in 2020 and is incredibly mobile defensively for his 6'10 frame. Jalen's versatility allows him to seamlessly switch 1 through 5 in pick and roll altercations. Kid only receives 14.2 minutes on average, but per 36 minutes, he's posting an NBA 6th best 1.8 blocks. His 7'2", 225-pound frame and springiness allows him to rise up and shock defenders with merciless stuffs, so the upside at stopping the basketball is off the charts for Jalen. Further displaying that, Smith's 102.7 rating would rank him third only behind Utah's Rudy Gobert and Cleveland's Jared Allen. As the most valuable defensive five-man in basketball, Jalen doesn't have the playing time to qualify, but an elite number nonetheless. 
Speaking of Jarrett Allen and the Cavaliers, they've won this year with a revolutionary tall ball lineup, and if the NBA keeps moving in that direction, as Jalen develops his jumper and all-around game, Phoenix could potentially play him next to DeAndre Ayton in the starting five at some point. But without DeAndre for the time being, Smith has been a stellar replacement to say the least. Moving on to one of the more underrated basketball players in the world right now, a proficient deep-range sniper and athletic phenom in Cameron Johnson. Blossoming right in front of our eyes, Cam's having an outstanding month of January, with shooting splits of 49, 46, and 90, while contributing 14 points per night for the Valley. Johnson's not in a groove, nor in a hot streak, he's becoming one of the best shooters in the game, and it's about time the league took notice. In early January, Cam's 24-point outing against the Clippers marked himself in Suns history. On that night, Cam recorded his 21st consecutive game with two plus threes made, a franchise record. And that's pretty incredible considering Phoenix has had players like Steve Nash, of course Devin Booker, Dan Marley, Leandro Barbosa, Channing Frye, just to name a few. Among all players in 2021-22, Johnson is number 5 in 3 point percentage. His consistency and elusive bucket getting are truly one of one. Ask Johnson, and he credits a lot of his success to the freedom he's granted under head coach Monty Williams, who allows him to be aggressive and let it fly. Cam says, I've had coaches before that maybe weren't as fond of threes, and then I've had coaches that were. Trust me, it's much better to have the latter. Cam got some praise from Coach Monty for his aggression, but Williams also emphasized the importance of a balanced shot selection, saying, I just want him to shoot and make plays. I just like when Cam is aggressive and attacking, not just shooting threes, but getting to the paint and making plays, end quote. From November 8th all the way until January 8th, Johnson broke double digits in 25 of 30 games played and had a 19-game streak of 10-plus points, which was a career high. Speaking of snipers on the roster, Landry Shamit hasn't been as consistent as Cam, but if he can repeat the efficient outing he had versus Minnesota, where he made four of his eight triples, then Phoenix's attack has another top-notch marksman to space the floor. Landry's quick release can be potent when he finds a rhythm, especially considering he's often the defense's last priority with all the weapons on the floor. But what's the most special part about the Phoenix Suns attack? Best answer in the comments earns next video shoutout. Top 5 commenters with the most shoutouts by March 21st receive free NBA merchandise of their choosing, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Boston Haltane, who says the Bulls are going to struggle without two of their best perimeter lockdowns. If Vooch can step up, then the Bulls should make it through this rough patch. As well as this, a lot of teams are missing valuable players due to COVID, so they'll be fine. Appreciate every answer. I hope you have a great one. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.